Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. We are now going through this dungeon and trying to find the final boss. So let's get to it. And if you guys like this video or this series, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. Oh, we finally found the other way to go. I went into a big circle like twice. Yep. Yes, it is. That's all I can do. Let's see who this final boss is for this floor. Nothing? Oh, okay. Never mind. It's... Uh, mutate insect monster. Watch out! This is oh, there's. I wish it was just one, yeah. but no, they gotta give you three. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. All complete. Right. Shatter. Oh yeah, missed. Oh crap. Again? They keep getting Emma. They keep getting this girl. I want them closer together. Got to like link them together again. No, no, no. Let's let's try healing them. My turn. All right. Let's use your. Get all three like this. Okay. Ladies, on my plate. Come on. Now. Do you have my face? Huh? 
God yes. dang it. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep reviving him. Right. How bad is it? Okay, it's not as bad as I would think. Okay, sleep, come on. There's gotta be one for sleep. Okay, there we go. Huh? Huh? Delicious. Come on. Jeez. I'm sorry, everyone. Of course. I got one of them. It's my turn. Yeah. You have my face. You know what? Let's use an item. Ah, uh, because one can restore and get out of KO, so... There it is. Come on, we're so close. Not here. Huh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not here. No. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. Come on. I was so close from taking them both out. Watch out. This is a tough one. Oh my god. It's my turn. Okay, first of all, you need to move because they always trying to get you every time. Wait, are we linked? Yes, we are. Huh? 
face. You have my face. My turn. There. Go. I got you. It's my turn. Gleaming blade. Go. This is it. Laura. Understood. Understood. Here. Huh? Wait, what happened? Has a chance. I got you. Right. Man, I'm loving this rush attack. No, no. You need any healing? You do. Hang in there. You have my face. Uh, that one really fucks up everything. This isn't looking good. Oh dang. Yeah. I can do this. I <laughs> woke her right up, too. Hang in there. Pretty much slapped her awake. Just wake face. up. Okay, I'm awake. Right. Yeah, we're just gonna do nice little S break, too. Yeah, she got them both in one hit! That's what I'm talking about, Laura. You still have a lot of training to do. That one wasn't too hard compared to the previous bosses. I, did it. I feel like I'm going stronger. An A plus outcome. And everyone leveled up except for one. Well, we won. So that was the floor's guardian? I have to admit, it had me gritting my teeth. Have you had run-ins with monsters like that here before? Yeah, every time you reach the end of the floor, a beast shows up just like that. Is something the matter with you? Oh, I just think I might have worked out something about this place. It looks like we've explored it as far as we can go for now, so let's head back outside. I'll tell you more then. Come on. Yep, level three! Only one level three? Huh.
Sunset already? Huh? We must have been down there a long time this month too. Thanks for your help today, everyone. There's no way I could have cleared that place out on my own. <laughs> Don't mention it. So what was that aha moment you had back there? Well, I think the old schoolhouse actually follows certain rules. Rules? Well, think about this. The first rule would be that there's always a door at the entrance of every floor. The second, there's always a really tough monster waiting at the end. The third rule is that each month a new floor opens up for us to explore. Those all seem to have been the case every time. Now I think about it, it kind of makes me feel like someone is testing us. A test? I guess when I stop and think about it, it does kind of feel that way. But even assuming that's true, who is it and why? It seems like the only way we'll get to the bottom of this is to keep exploring. Yeah, it seems that way. E Either way, we've gone as far as, as we can today. Let's meet up again next time. Ooh, glider headband. Receive one bonding point. So I got an extra bonding point? Ooh, and who shall I use it on? I didn't see the kitty this time. Who's nearby that I can use it on? Okay, there's Emma. And then there's a, hmm, wait, oh, that's don't do it. I haven't really hung out with Gaius like that, so I think I'm gonna go hang out with him. I've already hung up with Emma in the last video. Where's he at? Oh, he's back, like, up there. Oh, dang, I went past it again. I didn't read it. I just kind of looked at the general look about where it was. Didn't realize it was the church. Fancy meeting you here, Reen. Hey there, guys. Did you come to pray? Yeah, the sun's starting to set, so I figured I'd come along and get my things to another fulfilling day. Wow, you're pretty ominous, guys. Thinking back, we first met here on the day of the entrance ceremony, too. Huh, so we did. Hard to believe it's already been two months since then. Should I join him in prayer? Why not? I have some things I need to pray for too. You're always welcome. Let us pray then. Should do. This reminds me, Ashi, where you're from the Nord Highlands, aren't you? It's so far away from here, but you still revere Adios, don't you? Of course. It's said that Emperor Drekkels himself appealed to the church once the War of Lions came to a close. Because of that, even now, a traveling priest visits regularly. The whole class is kind of like your Sunday school here. Ah. So we also revere the winds that blow through the highlands just as much as we do the goddess herself. This has been a tradition passed down by our ancestors ever since they first set foot in the highlands. And the winds and the goddess, huh? Would that mean you hold Sunday school out among the fields or something? You're honestly not too far off. Most of our classes are held outside. I learned a lot from traveling from, a, from the traveling priest who was there when I was younger. When he taught me back then, he even shaped who I am now. Wow. Many people really do meet because they're destined to do so. Heh, <laughs> I've come to appreciate that idea much more than ever since I read that doors. Meeting you and the rest of your classmates is among the most meaningful events of my life so far. I'm amazed you can say stuff like that with a straight face. Oh, come on. Who do you think I get that from? You can't mean. Just take a moment to think about some of the stuff you've told us. As cheesy as you get, though. I think that's one of your good points. Maybe I should cut down the heartfelt speeches from now on. <laughs> He's like, ooh, now I hear my own words thrown back at me. Why would I, I need to stop saying things like this. Level two. Now we can 
finally rest our feet in our good old dormitory. It's getting dark, so if I go to my room now, I'll be in for the night. Which is exactly what I want, and we've done everything. Aureen, did you just get back to? Ah, oh, Sarah. Oh, hey there, instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. She really thought we were about to burn down the it building. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. Hey, did something happen? You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. That Toval really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? Uh, of course it did. As if a night with me was <laughs> sort of unforgettable. Oh my god. He was just amazing. Such a gentleman. So strong. So passionate. But I'm afraid all the details might be more than you could handle. It's too soon to corrupt your poor, innocent heart. I love Sarah. Oh my god, she's too much. Yeah. I almost want to believe it, but yeah, I don't think so. Everything okay last night then? Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh, wait. Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Oh, I'll bet that Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. This Class 7 gig has some real fringe benefits. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. Well, of course, she's the freaking teacher. She would have known her last name and her background way already. Welcome back, Master Bean. Lady Sarah. Oh, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. You can stop with the Master Bean stuff, though. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the maid's code of honor. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like my dearest Reen? Whoa! Not in front of the teacher. <sighs> She's looking it's at a pleasure mm -mm. to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you courtesy of the Reinford family. Sarah went from happy to go lucky to serious, so I think Sarah knows Sharon, or at least seen before, because she's not liking what she's looking at at all. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. <laughs> they hate each other! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is girl code like, I know who you are, bitch. Oh yeah, I know who you are too. I don't care, now keep your mouth shut. <laughs> That's literally what these two were saying to each other. Oh my god. This Feels like a good time to make my exit. Hmm? This looks like... More requests? Elise Schwarzer. Was this the sister?
What's happening? Please don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. Elise Schwarzer. Ah, so it is the sister. <laughs> you never change, do you, Elise? Oh, I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. What's with these flashbacks? What's happening? <sighs> I really should write back to her. And to mom and dad, for that matter. Misty here, filling your speakers with wit and charm once again. I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's oven time. The weather around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Ah, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? <laughs> this is the Raisin Baron just saying, like, wrap it up. Come on. Practical exam day. <laughs> Lunch break. Alright guys, well I ran out of time for this video. Next time we will find out what our scores are for the midterm since it's right in front of our face. But we'll do that in the next video. And I really want to know Reen's backstory the most out of everybody's because those flashbacks meant something. And some of them were really violent. He's, I think he's, yeah, he's always told us that he said he's bearing the title only because it's orange pants, so he's adopted. I really want to know where he came from. I wonder if this game's gonna tell us his story in more depth, but we're gonna have to wait until next time. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye, see you later.